yeah. All I get a great cut baby. My name is Teba Watirera. Some may know me as The Trotter. The following video is about introduction to groups and binary operations, which is part of abstract algebra. But before that, I want to tell you about guys who were crazy enough to create WhatsApp learning platforms that are designed to fit thousands of Zimbabwean students. But why a thousand or more students? First, let me tell you what the problem is. For most students, learning in 2020 had become unimaginable. We are talking of a period, a year, when thousands of June 2020 candidates went to conventional schools for approximately a month and a half and November candidates attended physical lessons for a diminutive three and a half months. It is of paramount significance to pinpoint that this blow came two years right after the introduction of new curriculum in 2018 which has seen new topics and concepts infected into the In mathematics, we have concepts such as groups and binary operations added to the syllabus. We have concepts like Taylor's theory added to the syllabus. We have concepts like the method of differences being added to the syllabus. Then I contacted my friend Miss Tinyasha, Patrick, Tarakino, Trokas, when I told him over the phone that we could find a way to give thousands of Zimbabwean students an education. We both laughed in doubt, but we decided to give it a shot. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we made it. That was the genesis of Love Culture Education Movement. Gen, a sender of metamorphosis. So we stood up that when we started top of the game online seminars on various topics such as binary operation. Having that said, let's jump right into our lesson. This presentation was prepared by my friend Nyasha Patrick Tarakino Trokas for the 2020 seminar that Trokas and I held on WhatsApp. In this video, we are going to learn about introduction to groups and binary operations. The sickest 42 syllabus objectives are as follows. Candidates are expected to we are going to start at binary operations. A binary operation is a function that takes two elements from the same set and maps them to some element also of the same set. So the algebraic definition is written here. A binary operation star on a set of integers or let's say real numbers is a function which combines two real numbers a and what and b and gives another real number say c such that a b and c are all elements of the original set which is g a simple example would be if the function g takes a real number and a real number, then for the function g to be a binary operation, after taking a real number and a real number, we have to get another real number. Now, let's move on to basic binary operations. A binary operation is represented by a star or a circle. A binary operation star includes addition, Subtraction, division, multiplication, composition of functions, 
matrix operations, and so on. Now we want to first consider basic binary operations. We have four basic binary operations for a set of real numbers. For instance, A star B. So A star B can be multiplication. For example, 4 multiplied by 2 is a binary operation. Why? Because if we say 4 times 2, we get 8. 8 is also an integer. 4 and 2 were also integers. So the operands here belong to the same set with the answer that we get here after our binary operation multiplication. Also, 4 plus 2, we are adding two integers or two real numbers, and we are also getting a real number. 4 minus 2, we get 2, which is also an integer. 4 divided by 2, we get 2, which is a real number. We have divided two real numbers, we are getting a real number as well. So, we are saying these are examples of binary operations. We are going to consider some basic and important results. Result number one, multiplication on all the integers z is a binary operation. Result number two, addition and subtraction on the integers are also binary operations. Let's consider example one. Is multiplication on the following set a binary operation? G is equal to all negative numbers here up to infinity. Then minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on up to infinity. We are saying this is a set of all integers. We want to determine if multiplication on this set is a binary operation. Let's take, for example, n two integers from this, from this set. We want to check if the answer that we get after multiplying 2 and 3 is also an integer. So our binary operation is star. So 3 star 2, we have taken 3 and 2 here. 3 star 2, we get 3 times 2. Since our binary operation star in this case is multiplication. So it's 3 times 2, which gives us 6. 6 is an element of integers. Therefore, multiplication on the set of all integers is a binary operation. Now we want to move on to addition and subtraction. Subtraction is just the same as adding a negative number. So we can just say addition here. Okay. So for addition, let's take also any two elements, say 1 and minus 3. If we say 1 star minus 3, it means 1 plus minus 3. Since our binary operation in this case, star is representing positive, since it's what? It's addition. So 1 plus minus 3 is equal to 1 minus 3, which is equal to minus 2, which is an element of z, because minus 2 is an integer. Therefore, addition on this, on this set here, addition is a binary operation. Addition on the set of all integers form a binary operation. For division, let's also take n two integers from set G, e.g. 3 and minus 2. 3 star minus 2, we are going to replace our binary operation star by a division right here. So it will be 3 divided by minus 2 here. And what do we get? We get minus 1.5, which is not an element of Z because this is not an integer. Therefore, division on the set of all integers is not a binary operation. Nota bene. Twitty, twitty. 
although division on some elements such as 2 and 1 gives integers, division on the set of all integers is not a binary operation. Why? Because if you say 2 divided by 1, 2 divided by 1 here, by 1 here, you get 1, which is an integer. But that doesn't make division on this set a binary operation because there are other numbers such that if we divide, we don't get the elements of this set. In other, in other words, we're saying we don't get the integers. For example, 2 divided by 0 is actually undefined. You see? So division on this set is not a binary operation. Now we move on to example 2. Example 2 will help us explore more results. Which of the four operations are binary operations on a set of real numbers? So a set of real numbers contains all numbers except complex numbers. For example, minus 2, 4, 100, root 5. Minus root 1000, 0 0.5, 1 over 2, 0. So all decimals, all fractions, square roots, cube roots, integers are all real numbers. Then for complex numbers, we have numbers like i, negative i, square root of negative 10, square root of negative 4, 2 plus i. All these numbers are complex. Now we want to consider a general example. Three. Is multiplication, division, addition, or subtraction a binary operation on the following set? We have this set here. So our solution is none of the above is a binary operation on the above set. They all give some elements outside the given set. Okay, let's consider this a bit. If we take in two elements here and multiply 4 times 5, what do we get? We get 20. And 20 is not in this set. So multiplication on this set is not a binary operation. Now let's try with addition. 9 plus 5 is also out of this set. Therefore, addition is not a binary operation on this set. The same goes for division and subtraction. Now we move on to result number seven. Integer multiplication and addition are binary operations under clock or modular arithmetic. There are two ways of determining binary operations in clock or modular arithmetic. The first way is using the clock and then apply the Cayley table. The second option is using a set of remainders and also apply the Cayley table. The Cayley table was first introduced by, by a British mathematician named Arthur Cayley, 1821 to 1895. Now we move on to using the clock method. Whenever you see mod 7, your integers must be taken from the set which proceeds from 0 up to 6. If it's mod 5, then your integers must be taken from the set which proceeds from 0 up to 4. So the greatest element of the set must be the modulo value minus 1. So here it was 7 minus 1 which gave us 6. Then here it was 5 minus 1, which gave, which gave us 4. Now we want to look at an example. Find a 3 star 4 addition modulo 7. But B, 2 times 4 mod 5. In this case, we are given our binary operation already is multiplication. And here our binary operation is addition modulo 7. We draw our clock right here, which proceeds from 0 up to 6, right here. So 3 plus 4, we are going to start at 3 here, and 
we add one, two, three, four. Our final destination here, there is zero. Therefore, three star four addition modulo seven is zero. Three plus four mod seven is equal to zero. This is how we use the clock arithmetic using the clock itself. Now let's attempt part B. 2 times 4 mod 5. So first of all, our numbers will proceed from 0 up to 4 since we are in mod 5. Therefore, we start at 2 here. We want to move how many times? We want to move four lots of twos. Which means the first two here. Then the second two will proceed from this two here. This is the second lot of two. We are moving two steps until our two steps reach four. Okay? One two, three, four, and we end here at three. Therefore, two times four mod five is equal to three. We can also solve this problem using the remainder. Nota bene, P mod Q is the remainder when N is divided by Q. N times P mod Q is the remainder when N times P is divided by Q. Let's consider this example. Find 45 mod 8. 3 star 4 enter addition modulo 7. 2 times 4 mod 5. What we do here, we divide. 45 divided by 8. If we divide 45 by 8 here, we get 5 remainder, 5. So 45 mod 8 is equal to remainder. Remember, modular arithmetic is just a set of remainders. So our remainder here was 5. So we're going to take this 5. That's our answer for 45 mod 8. Then... For part B, 3 star 4 mod 7, our binary operation star was defined as the word addition modulo 7, which means we are going to, to add the two terms and then divide by 7. So we have 3 plus 4, which is 7, 7 mod 7, we get 7 divided by 7, which is called 1, remainder 0. Therefore, 3 star 4 mod 7 is equal to 0, right here. Then we move on to part C. 2 times 4 mod 5 is the same as 8 mod 5, which is equal to 1 remainder 3. Therefore, 2 star 4, 2 times 4 mod 5 is equal to 3. Now we move on to binary operations from definitions. Let's consider this example here. If a star b is equal to 2a minus b squared, find item 1, 1 star 3, item 2, minus 8 star, open bracket, 1 star 3. Then we have part b, part c here. Now, for part A, let's consider this definition that we are given here. On the left-hand side, we have A star B. And on our item 1, we have 1 star 3. This is resembled to the left-hand side here. Therefore, for 1 star 3, A will be equal to 1, and B will be equal to 3. Therefore, substituting this on the right-hand side, we have right-hand side is equal to 2 times 1, which is 2 times A, minus 3 squared, which is B squared right here. 
and we get 2 minus 9, which is got minus 7 right here. Then we move on to item 2. In this case, we have two binary operations that we need to perform. So first of all, we deal with the brackets first. So in our parentheses, a is equal to 1. We are just taking it from here. 3 is equal to b, right here. Therefore, we have minus 8, then we simplify this. Remember for this, we can write 2a minus b squared here. Our right hand side now becomes 8 star. We have not used this yet. So we want to simplify this first. So for a here and b here, we have 2 times 1 minus 3 squared, which will give us 7. We still haven't used minus 8 here. So what we are going to do is we are going to now compare this again with the left hand side of our question. So this operation here from this operation, binary operation here, we have a is equal to minus 8 and b is equal to 7. Therefore, the right hand side now, if we come here, it becomes 2 times minus, uh, minus 8, which is 2a, then minus b squared, minus 7 squared, which gives us minus 16, minus 49, which gives us minus 65. So we are done with example 1. Now we move to example b. a star b is equal to a squared plus b. This is the definition that we are given. Find the value of a such that a star 4 is equal to 5. Okay, what do we have here? On the left hand side, we have a star b. And here we have a star 4. So clearly a is equal to a and b is equal to 5. Clearly a is equal to a and b is equal to we substitute a for a here and and 4 for b here and we know that a star 4 is equal to 5 so after performing this binary operation here we get 5 then we take 4 to the right hand side we get 5 minus 4 which is 1 which is plus or minus 1 now we move on to part c we have two definitions here. A circle B is equal to 2A plus B. And the other definition, A star B is equal to A plus 2B. Find three circle for star 5. Let's jump into our solution. First of all, we want to find three circle 4. So the first, we are going to use this definition first. A circle B is equal to 2A plus B. A star B is equal to A plus 2B. So we are going to use the first definition here since it is the one inside our parenthesis. So in brackets here, since on the definition we have a is circle b, clearly 3 is equal to a here and 4 is equal to b. And we are going to come to this side and we perform our operation right here. We perform our operation right here. here. So this is the right hand side. The right hand side is... The term inside the brackets here, these terms, these terms become 2 times 2a plus b, which is 2 times 3 plus 4, which gives us 6 plus 4, which gives us 10. Then, now, 
In order to find our final solution, we then apply the binary operation. In this case now, it's a star. So we are using the second, the second definition that we are given right here. Therefore, now A is equal to 10 and B is equal to 5. And if we perform our binary operation on this set, and if we perform our binary operation, we'll, we will have A plus 2B, which is 10 plus 2 times 5, which gives us 10 plus 10, which gives us 20.